everyone, my name's Becky. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is all about what I made as part of the hashtag so frugal 23 challenge which was being hosted by the lovely sam from frugalissima and also ruan from the yorkshire so girl over on instagram so if you are unfamiliar with the challenge it was basically all about using a free sewing pattern to make something for yourself or for someone else during the month of march so i managed to sew up two things so i'm going to be sharing with you those in just a second. I'm going to be putting them on so you can see what I've made, obviously, what it's all about, the style, etc. And I'll be talking about the patterns too. So if you are interested in that, then please do stay tuned and don't forget to leave me a like if you would like to, that would be amazing. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about sewing, upcycling, fabric, anything to do with being creative basically. So if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell as well. And that way you won't miss any of my future videos. But thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, you can always leave me any comments down below in the comments section. I do like to have a chat to you down there. So don't forget to let me know what you're working on this week or this month. And also perhaps if you took part in the So Frugal Challenge, that would be lovely. So would you like to find out what I made? I shall put on the first top now. So this is the first top that I've made. So this is the Closet Core Core pattern, which is the, a free t-shirt pattern but I've added in a few little changes. So I'll tell you about those in just a second, but it's actually made out of, just in case you're interested, a cotton jersey fabric, which if I move a little bit closer, you'll be able to see the print. So it's got some little tiny um, pin spots all over it, um, which is really nice. And I've actually lowered the neckband by about, uh, should I say the neckline by about 1.5 inches. And rather than adding on the actual neck band piece that comes with the top. I've actually just turned it over twice and top stitched it. So I've just top stitched it all the way around there because basically I wanted to achieve more of a scoop look. And also I was really short on material and the uh, So Frugal challenge is basically all about using fabrics and materials that you've already got in your stash at home rather than buying something new to use for, for what you're making. So I just wanted to make the most of this fabric that I've got and um, you know, I've actually made two things out of it, which has been really, really nice. Um, I think this is a really good basic t-shirt pattern that I'm gonna get loads of wear out of. I think it's gonna go with lots of skirts and dresses and um, yeah, it's gonna, gonna be a really good kind of layering piece in the kind of spring time as we are now and then I can just wear it by itself uh, with a lightweight skirt and whatnot during the summer months. So that will be lovely, but I'm really, really pleased with it. So I'm gonna stand up just so you can see the length. So I've made the cropped version and um, there is another version that you can make as well. If I just stand up, you'll be able to see. So I'm quite tall, I'm, I'm five foot 10. Uh, it comes just to around my um, upper waistband area there. It's quite a loose t-shirt. Um, it's, it's a lovely one. I really, really recommend it. So it's actually available in sizes zero through to 32 and you can download it as a PDF from the Closet Core Patterns website. The instructions are available in English or in French. And as you can see, it's got quite a boxy silhouette rather than being too close fitting, which I think is particularly nice during the summer because it's quite airy, quite breezy, um, and you won't get too hot wearing it, which would be lovely. If you don't fancy making the cropped version like I have, you could perhaps go for the hip length version and do a three quarter length sleeve instead. So you've got two different options of the pattern that you can try which is amazing because the pattern is free. So I would definitely give it a go if you haven't already. And thank you so much to the person um, on this channel that suggested it to me. Um, I can't remember your name off the top of my head, uh, but I really appreciate it because um, it's a real winner for me and I'm gonna get loads of wear out of it. I would say this is um, a good pattern to try if you are uh, new to sewing or perhaps you've just made a few things before, or it's also a great one if you are a more experienced sewist and just want a quick project. So either way, you know, it's, it's a good one, a good staple to make for your wardrobe. So now I'll put on top number two. By the way, if I am looking a little bit blown around today, it's because I've literally just come back from a dog walk <laughs> and it's quite windy outside today. Um, so excuse my hair, it does look a little bit on the uh, on the bouffant side, a bit, bit, bit crazy today. So um, yes, ex excuse, excuse my hair, 
but yes, it's lovely outside. It's um, it's a little bit windy, but it is uh, sunny. So I just wanted to make the most of the weather. So here is item number two that I made as part of the challenge. So this is the Forget Me Not Patterns Vera Top. Now I have actually made this pattern before, so I will pop in a picture of my previous version, but um, I really like it. So why not make it again? That's what I thought. And um, it's another great one to try if you are looking for a free t-shirt pattern that's got options. So you can actually do this pattern, um, make this pattern with the long sleeve, which I have done, which if I just stand up here, be able to see. So this is a bishop type sleeve. It's got a long cuff on there. Oops, my hair bobble and my bracelet are caught underneath. <laughs> um, yep, so it's got quite a long cuff, which is quite a nice feature. Um, and it's got this um, nice, nice sleeve that's gathered just into the cuff here, um, which is lovely. Um, so you can also do this with a three quarter length arm if you prefer, um, which finishes obviously around the sort of elbow, just under the elbow um, area, which is finished with a nice little cuff as well. Um, or of course you could just not bother adding on the cuff, perhaps make either the long sleeve version or the three quarter length arm version and just leave off the cuff and make it a nice sort of flared sleeve. So just depends on what kind of look you are going for with this one. So you can actually do the V neckline if you would like to, or you could actually make it a scooped um, neckline like I have. I actually just um, downloaded the, the, the V um, neckline version and I actually just made it into a scoop myself, which was really easy to do. And um, I literally just kind of drew onto my pattern piece where I wanted the scoop to go and then kind of joined the line back up to the original pattern piece. And I extended the neck band um, and then joined it in just, just at the side shoulder up there, if that makes sense. Um, I'm sure this won't be the last version of this top that I actually make. Um, because I think it's a really good one um, for winter time. I've been getting quite a lot of work wear out of my yellow and white version that I already made. And I've had quite a lot of compliments on it from friends and family and stuff when I've, when I've had it on as well, uh, which is always lovely when you've made something yourself. So this top is kind of semi-fitted at the bust area and then it's got a kind of subtle, um, more of a, well, I don't know what you say, kind of more of a loose feel um, around the, from the bottom of the bust downwards. So if I just stand up, you'll be able to see. So I've got my version tucked into a quite high-waisted skirt here. Um, but if I untuck it, you'll be able to see um, the length of it as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really nice top. Um, and obviously I've got the long sleeves on here. Now, this one is a digital download from the Forget Me Not Patterns website. And um, I would encourage you also when you're on there just to have a look around at the other Forget Me Not patterns as well. Um, I'm a big fan of all of their patterns. I've made quite a few of them and I'm sure I'll be making more in the future as well. I would say that this pattern is probably suitable for more of an intermediate sewer or perhaps someone that has made a few things before, just because the, the gathering perhaps just around the cuff here was a little bit fiddly, um, but I'm sure if you really wanted to give it a go and you are quite new to sewing, you'd be absolutely fine with it as well. Also, if you were to try the V-neck version, then that's probably um, more of a, a tricky neckline to tackle rather than doing a scoop like I have, uh, but I'm sure if you just take your time, you'll be fine with it. There is actually a, a little expansion pack for this pattern as well, where you can download the scoop neck version if you prefer, if you didn't fancy um, just drawing on your own pattern piece like I have. So you have got the option there. Uh, this top is available in sizes 28 through to 48. And if it's helpful, I made the size 34. So my measurements are 32 bust, 28 waist and 40 hip. Um, just in case you are thinking about um, having a go yourself and wondering what size to make. I was hoping to uh, make a couple of skirts or at least one skirt as part of this sewing challenge, um, but I've just been to Cornwall with my family. Um, so <laughs> just kind of ran out of time really. So I got um, an enough time before we went away to sew up these two tops. Um, but after that, I kind of ran out of time. So it's just uh, one of those things, but I'm, I'm hoping to sew up a couple of um, skirt patterns that I shared in my sewing plans video. Um, so do keep an eye on my channel and hopefully I'll be able to share those with you um, in the very near future. But I hope you've enjoyed watching today and don't forget if you have, please do press that like button and leave me any comments down below. That would be lovely. I've got lots of great videos coming up on my channel soon. Um, so um, thank you for um, tuning in. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Bye.